Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the uh, love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of February. All right, Pisces, you have the Six of Wands. For some of you guys returning home, for others of you, perhaps travel is involved here. Uh, traveling, for some of you guys, it could be traveling to where your partner's family is from. For others, it could just signify you traveling to visit your family and relatives. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, the obstacle here is finding common ground. I see for some of you guys, ego could be involved. So if you've been experiencing a lot of like arguments or petty arguments, I should say, um, you know, sometimes we got to, you know, we got to agree to disagree, even if, um, you know, even if it's not, you know, something that as long as it's not something that you're extremely passionate about, again, agree, learn to agree to disagree. Uh, there's no point in having arguments over something that is irrelevant. And, you know, within a week, you're not even going to remember what you were arguing about. Um, so again, I don't really see a challenge in the two of cups other than come from a place of love and you'll be able to find the balance for each other. Now, in the past and passing, I do have the High Priest here, as well as the Ten of Cups. So you guys have very strong, powerful cards, uh, Pisces. I see that you guys are um, being around a lot of family members or uh, the family dynamic is going to be very important for the month of February. Um, for others of you, it could just signify uh, really getting to being able to detach from uh, past relationships or uh, past difficulties within the relationship and finding that balance more than anything. Um, you do have the Ten of Swords here, but I feel that if there was a struggle, there is a conclusion of that struggle. Uh, you guys have gotten through the worst. Uh, the best is yet to come. So if you guys are, you know, if you guys have been experiencing difficulties or it could even be difficulties within the family dynamic, uh, for some, you could be dealing with like family loss. Uh, for others of you, it could be death within the family uh, or being there and supporting emotionally your partner because perhaps on their side, uh, there was a loss or some type of uh, ending uh, when it comes to um, when it comes to like mourning the loss of someone. Uh, you know, again, like I said, I feel that this is traumatic. But I think that you guys will be getting through this and it's only going to bring you guys closer together. It's only going to strengthen and unify the relationship itself. Now, the advice card here is be practical, Pisces. Um, you do have the Queen of Pentacles for some of you guys. You may be going for advice uh, from a Earth energy. It could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo. Know and understand that whatever advice they give you, take it to heart. Uh, this is a person that genuinely is putting your interest above their own. This is a person that could give you an advice not based on, uh, not based on I'm your friend or your, you know, uh, I'm here for you as a friend, but give you a genuine and honest advice uh, based on the circumstances of the situation itself. Uh, you do have the Ace of Cups here and the Page of Cups. So my dear Pisces, I see you guys being extremely amorous for this month of February. I see that love is going to be flowing through your veins. A lot of you guys really unifying and connecting emotionally to your partners, um, feeling that emotional support, that loving energy. Uh, really coming through and even your again if you are married or have you know have been married have children they will definitely be you know feeling that love that that joy that happiness surrounding you guys especially if in fact you have came from uh, the loss of a family member I think that this really is unifying the relationship and the family dynamic within itself for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while um, or if you're stepping out of a relationship that was a long-term committed relationship, perhaps divorce, um, I definitely do see that there is love in the horizon for you, whether you feel that you're ready or not. Yes, this has been traumatic. Yes, you're getting through it, and it's been difficult. Nonetheless, understand and know that you deserve to be loved. You deserve happiness, and this will manifest for you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with Earth, Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I feel that this is a definitely 
a, a very positive type of energy for you guys, especially with partnerships, because I think that where you're dreaming, they're very practical and where they're very practical, you can help them whether or, or whether through emotions. Um, so again, I think that this is a very beautiful contrast for a lot of you guys. It could be that uh, you will be manifesting an earth energy type of female or male type of energy uh, that is going to begin as friends. It's going to come from some type of loss. Um, it could be, uh, like I said, uh, even losing like a family member or someone that is uh, connected to them uh, or knows them and you guys find yourself uh, you guys find yourselves are come together under difficult circumstances and I think that's where the friendship builds uh, but it does turn into something more long term uh, as there is an offering here and the high priestess Listen to your intuition, Pisces. Uh, they're guiding you. Spirits are guiding you. Your ancestors are guiding you. And they're trying to make way for you. Guiding you. If you recently ended a relationship, know and understand that these are your ancestors stepping in and telling you, Pisces, you need to wake up. This person is not right for you. Look at things for what they really are. And let be, let you know bygones be bygones. Let that burn. Let that bridge burn. Don't fear uh, that you might miss out or that they might change who they are um, and you don't want to miss out. Don't do that to yourself. That's a disservice to yourself, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.